Cairo, and uh, we are a group of electronic engineering students. We are close to Radio, and uh, our main area of expertise is uh, programming, robotics, signal processing, and uh, sensor intercommunication. So uh, we appreciate the opportunity to compete here uh, because uh, to us, uh, since this is an area we have uh, worked before with, uh, it poses to us a great challenge. Uh, our project uh, was, paid, but was based uh, on producing the, the usage of agrochemicals uh, in different crops to make them as organic as possible. Uh, this will have a lot of benefits, uh, but mostly uh, improving its quality and uh, reducing the cost for, for uh, the reducing the cost that takes uh, to spray these chemicals. Uh, also, another advantage is that uh, some countries. Uh, have a special taste for wines that uh, are organic or are labeled as organic. So uh, it's an advantage to have a control of how much <coughs> you spray a crop. Uh, today, uh, the grape production of wine affected by a kind of monk called Lovesia botarga. And this, this insect is responsible, responsible for the majority of the losses in, in binders. Since San Juan province is uh, one of the largest grape producers in the country, both for uh, grapefruit and for, uh, the grape for wine making, uh, this uh, this is uh, this is critical because a partial even a partial loss or the or decrease in the season uh, will imply uh, a great deal of affection to our economy. The according to the database provided by the organization uh, by Caravan, we propose a model that will allow us to make an assessment on the probability of appearance of the, of the pest. Uh, we focused on Lovesia botrana, but it could, it could be used for any kind of pest or plague. This model, uh, I, will, I will dig on that later, but firstly, I will focus on the pre-processing. The, the model requires for uh, requires three variables: temperature that is uh, that is measured in degree day, humidity range, and uh, the wind condition, the wind conditions. So uh, for the preprocessing, we we make a flux dryer, and uh, its main parts are for the temperature. We propose. Uh, using the data for the soil temperature and the air temperature, combining uh, using uh, sensor fusion, that is something that we learned in in, uh, in college, and uh, using a Kalman filter, you can have a better a better measurement of the air temperature. With this data, we calculate. Uh, we, we perform a calculate of degree day. That is, um, that uses a model of Tussaud that uses um, uses the median of the, of the temperature and uh, compares it with um, a threshold that if it's uh, within the range for the mod to, to successfully reproduce, it's accumulated. So since uh, it is a statistical measurement, 
we we propose a correction with the standard deviation. So uh, this will give uh, give us an idea of how representative the median that we calculate is of the entire of the entire sample of temperatures taken uh, in the or found in the data. Once the once the day degree data is available, we process the humidity. So for that, we came up with an idea to make an average of the humidity by day and by night separately, and then make a range of uh, humidity levels. And for wind speed, uh, we we consider that we needed to detect only uh, fast winds because uh, fast winds for the, this kind of month uh, slows the, the growth. So uh, we detected by calculating the median uh, recursively throughout all the values, for example, of a year. And then we compare it uh, with the real time values. So if a real time value is far superior to the to the median calculated, we detect a, a, a typical a typical speed of the wind. With, three, with these three variables, uh, we enter into our, mo our model, which uh, will perform an a weighted, a, a weighted analysis, uh, may, uh, making uh, giving most importance to the variables that are more critical to the growth and development of the mod. So uh, for this kind of mod, the, the temperature and the humidity range are very critical because it could help them grow or it could be fatal. Uh, but the wind conditions are also considered but not critical, just slows the, the growth. So are are weighted in a lesser in a lesser measure. With this, we, we will obtain a, a best risk assessment. So we can uh, predict or have an idea of the probability that the, the play will happen in, in the crop. Well, the results we achieved uh, were obtained from the database, basically from Copernicus. And, uh, And uh, we perform uh, with, a lot of, with a series of scripts uh, coded in Python. The calculation of the degree day uh, for the period 2017 and 2018. And, uh, and they, they, this, this data will help us to, to understand the model. And uh, we also compare it with some uh, scientific papers. So uh, this, this, uh, the shape of this curve is very similar to another of some uh, deeper studies. But with the time we had, uh, it's very close to what uh, we were in good track. Also for the humidity range, uh, we calculated. And uh, for the wind conditions, uh, we we ran into some problem because of the of the magnitude of the data. Uh, we didn't have time enough time to process all the all the uh, all the data. So we we show us we show you there uh, a sample of, of a portion of the code that of course is not optimized because we didn't have enough time and. Uh, I think that uh, a potential or a, a good improvement to, to this, this model is uh, the use of a neural network that, uh, that we will train uh, using deep learning. Uh, and uh, you can see that in the graphic here, using a MLP, a multilayer perceptron, that we will train with the, with a similar database, the same inputs, but 
uh, also providing the the output. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean historical data of uh, actual facts that the play was uh, established in, in the ground. So you train the neural network and and the network learns which condition which conditions are necessary to to be to determine the uh, play uh, we have. But for that we we need a, a much bigger database. So we thank you. That's all. We appreciate the, the opportunity and your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Any good discussion? So, well, <clears throat> I'm interested. Can you please very briefly summarize how can your data achieve to improving the, I would say, like, uh, to reduce the, the use of the of the, of the agrochemicals in the region industry. That's what I have had difficulties to catch in your presentation. Okay. Um, our data will help us to the, to, the, to assess the probability that the play will occur. So we will alert the, the producer uh, if it's necessary, really necessary, to spray the chemicals, okay. or, uh, making that the, making the crop more organic. Okay, that sounds that's great, but it wasn't very clear from from the talk. But thank you. Maybe uh, talking about this, uh, could you could you stress more uh, the situation with uh, the false and real alerts? Like uh, uh, if you see some uh, technical solution, how to how to minimize uh, the false alerts, like you send the farmer to the field uh, describing, because uh, on behalf of your solution there is a risk and the farmer come there and there is nothing. So uh, uh, do you like uh, have any idea how to incorporate the, uh, the minim minimizing the false detections, false uh, alerts uh, in okay. your solution? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We thought of that, and uh, that's one of the solutions that I mentioned. Of course, it will need a deeper study, but uh, we consider uh, using a Kalman filter. Uh, you can, it's used for uh, other things, but okay. you can use uh, a lot of different sensors to estimate or correct a measurement of another variable that is of interest of you. Okay. or in other applications that you cannot access. For example, the temperature of the outer of the, the, the thrust of a rocket, you measure, the, you measure that, uh, you can put a sensor there, so you measure by other places mm -hmm. and determine the, the exact temperature. Yeah. So we use that correction for improvement, improve the sensors, but we also use, a, we will use and a statistical correction uh, using the standard deviation and other uh, there are other methods okay. like linear regression but we we, need, we will need more time yeah of course it's yeah. okay thank you so if there's no more questions then the, thank you thank you again well, thank you Rohax should be the third team.